Hey guys, Troy Eckenrod. John Shore. With Shoot Center in Cape Coral, Florida. Today we're gonna to be talking about something pretty close to John's heart. Uh, we're gonna be doing a comparison video between the SCAR platformer rifles and the CZ Bren rifles. Uh, specifically, we've got the Bren 2s out here. Um, these are both phenomenal rifles used a lot or all around the world and in the U.S. as well. But we're going to go through the history, comparisons, what we like, what we don't like. Um, luckily we've got a lot of time on these guns. Um, we've got some SBRs, some pistols, some select fire guns as well. And so we're going to have some fun today. Uh, so let's get into this. All right, guys, let's start off with the SCAR platformer rifles. John, why don't you run us through the SCARs and, and kind of the history behind them and everything like that. All right, so SCAR stands for Special Combat Assault Rifle. It was developed for US SOCOM, which was looking for a replacement for the venerable M4 platform. They wanted something more reliable. So um, FN came up with the SCAR platform. Uh, they've been testing it, I think, since the early 2000s, and they, have one in 7.62, the Mark 16 and Mark 17, excuse me, and then the 5.56 version, the Mark 16. But this right here is a Scar 16, the civilian version. Uh, they sent them out to Ranger 75th Ranger Battalion in 2010, I think. Mm -hmm. um, they found out that the 5.56 version of the Scar wasn't that much of an advantage over the M4, so they basically said we don't want the Scar 16, Mark 16. And we, they went with the Mark 17, which is 7.62 by 51. Uh, they're both gas piston systems, short stroke, very, very reliable. Um, a lot of people say that the SCAR platform, when, it, when it's shooting, it has that BAR kind of chugga, 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 chugga. Yeah, because of the reciprocating charging mm -hmm. handle and the big, huge bokeh group that it has in it. So, yeah, it's a pretty phenomenal platform. Yeah. Um, one, one thing that's kind of made the SCAR a little bit different in, in, in how it works, uh, they use some different aluminums and polymer right in the guns. Uh, so the upper receivers are aluminum, but the lower receivers are polymer, which is kind of interesting. Um, because it is a piston, it doesn't have your standard buffer tube or anything like that, so you can have folding collapsible stocks, different things like that. Um, I actually have a friend in the 75th Ranger Regiment, he's in the 2nd Battalion, um, and he actually, his go-to gun is a SCAR-17. Now, one of the interesting things that they could do is they were using um, essentially um, uh, mag couplers, not couplers, but uh, inserts. And he was, the, uh, even though it was a 17 gun, they were using oh, SCAR-16. Yeah, they were yeah. using the conversion kit. So he's using a SCAR-16 upper on a 17 lower, which is kind of cool. Uh, so that's kind of his go-to, actually, believe it or not, in his unit. Um, won't get into all the other fun stuff that he plays with, but that, that's his go-to rifle. Um, now, like, right, talk, John, you have your SBR. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they, they come in a standard 17 in, or 16 inch length barrels. Uh, this one is a 13.5 inch, it got chopped down. Uh, this is a select fire, scar heavy. Um, and that one, what, what, what barrel length do you have on it? Uh, I think it's, I think it's, really, I believe it's 10, 10 inch. Yep. Gotcha. So they, they have uh, factory barrels that come in 10 inch, but I had mine cut down, cut down yeah. by Parker Mount Machine, Jerry up there in New Hampshire. He's he's like the master of the SCAR platform. Yeah. So, and, you know, um, these guns are very ambidextrous. They have controls on both sides as far as, you know, your magazine release, your, your safety selector. Uh, this does have a reciprocating charging handle, which means uh, as you shoot this gun, this charging handle is gonna come back and forth, right? And this can be manipulated on either side. Um, I know a lot of guys that um, treat it kind of like an AK, mm -hmm. so they'll roll it on this side to when they when they're out, run it like an AK essentially. Um, especially if you were to get that magwell grip, we see a lot of guys busting their thumbs. Um, because it is piston, you do have an adjustable gas block as well, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Two position. Two position. Yep. Yeah. So the twelve o'clock is regular standard running. And second position is the adverse. Adverse, but yeah. you could, that's also a suppressor. Suppress mode. Suppress yeah. mode. Ad so. Adverse because it's, it's pumping some gas. Yeah. yeah. Um, so for for us, right, 
now we gotta start looking at a different gun. So the CZ Bren 2, right? So the uh, 805 Bren came out, it was developed in like 2006, and we just started seeing them in the market probably about three or four years ago. Uh, they finally got imported, and they were kind of like the SCAR's little brother. So it came in a little bit cheaper than the SCAR, because that's always been kind of the, the big thing for SCARs. They're oh, so yeah. expensive, right? Uh, SCARs are made in Belgium. They, they only get imported in select groups, and so there's a limited number. Uh, but Bren came in, um, CZ USA is the one who was bringing them in. Uh, 805 did really well, right? Uh, we saw a lot of users. We saw rifles, we saw pistols, we saw about everything. Um, now, about the time that they were getting imported in the US though, uh, CZA came out with a version 2. Uh, so in about 2014, 2015, uh, the, CZ, the Czech Republic Army right, decided, hey, there's some things we want to change, right? There's some up updates that we want to do. And so CZ started do doing that. Um, now, so we have the Bren 2. Uh, some of the big changes is just ergonomics, right? We're talking a little bit better. Um, they slimmed down the weight because the original Bren was a little bit heavy. It's about I think it's about eight pounds. Yeah, a little bit more than that, right? Uh, where these are now coming in at a lot less. Uh, so the Bren 2s are coming in the US in 7.6239 and 5.56, and that's it. Um, this happens to be a 7.6239, one of the original ones. This is what we call the military one. Uh, so that, you know, pick Picatinny sections and things like that. Uh, but what's really nice is, and this is why I like the Bren over the SCAR personally. It's just, for me, as a southpaw, so I'm a left-handed rifle shooter, as you guys know, uh, for me, the, the controls on the gun, right, are a lot easier to use, right? And so you have your magazine release, your, your safety selector, everything in one spot, right, on both sides, but also your bolt catch, bolt release is also ambidextrous. It's inside the trigger guard, which is kind of unique. There's a couple other systems that have done that, uh, but, you know, th this is one of the first ones. You know, once again, we've got that aluminum upper, carbon fiber reinforced polymer lower mm -hmm. uh, so very similar to the scar as well super lightweight yeah, super, super lightweight, lightweight. Um, I don't remember I think this is a reciprocating charging handle as well no no the, the, the original the brand original did. Brand, 805 the 805 did the brand twos do not reciprocate so that's pretty cool um, we don't have to worry about that so much
so kind of like right, John, you have your, what I call the noisy cricket. Uh, this thing is an eight inch, eight inch uh, five, five, six gun. Um, <laughs> But it's he's got a muzzle brake on it. This thing is loud. It shoots a fireball like nobody's business. But kind of run us through that gun and why you chose that. All right, so I already had a SCAR 16 SBR, and I was like, you know what? I don't want another SBR, and I wanted something similar gas piston to the SCAR 16. So when the brand two came onto the market, I was like, definitely have to have one. So they changed up the civilian version. Um, Bill Hicks actually got the first version of the brand twos that came into the market. Those were actually demilitarized versions of mm -hmm. the brand two. So yeah. it came in as a pistol because they couldn't bring it in yep. as a rifle because of, you know, the ITAR laws. Yep, yep. And uh, they came in with Picatinny Rail, a small batch, uh, went to Bill Hicks, and then CZ USA was like, we, that's not what we wanted. Mm -hmm. So they had the small batch, they were under the radar, they went everywhere, people bought them up left and right. Yeah, and the, I remember I remember seeing them come out, they were like 12 inch barrel yeah. ones, yeah, they were mm -hmm. phenomenal. And then they came out with the brand two that CZ actually wanted, that was actually M-Lock. Mm -hmm. So they got the M-Lock and they come in 8.6, 11 and 14 inch yeah. barrels. And both uh, 7.62 by 39 and 5.56. Five, yeah. And I mean, phenomenal platform. I like it better than this. I, I like it better than the SCAR because the controls are more like an AR-15. I mean, the SCAR is too, but you have more versatility with this. Mm -hmm. With the bolt lock, bolt release, you can lock it open using the uh, ACR style bolt That's release. That's what I was thinking about, the yep. ACR. ACR. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's light and it's reliable. I mean, can't beat it. So, kind of, any dislikes about the SCAR platform as you have it? The only dislike I have about it is the reciprocating charge handle. Yeah, that's the only thing. But that met U.S. SOCOM requirements. No, requirements. That was a so, yeah. SOCOM wanted that in their gun, mm -hmm. and so we kind of got to talk about that. Um, you know, that, that's always been a big beef. People are like, well, why does it have to be reciprocated? No one else does it. That was a requirement per SOCOM, right? Mm -hmm. um, very reminiscent of an AK. All right, I uh, can't do anything about that, but it is what it is. Yep. So, uh, guys, let's get some time on the range. Give you our uh, some shooting time. You can see how these run. And we'll see you back here in a few minutes. All right, guys, so uh, let's get these guns on. Now, these are John's personal guns, so I'm not going to mess with his configuration. So I will shoot this right-handed. I'm not going to shoot it southpaw. Thank you. Uh, but these things are phenomenal. So let's give this one a go. I like to. I gave this one the nickname of the Noisy Cricket. You guys will see here in a minute why. All right, so let's give these guns a roll. John's got his scar. We've got this. We'll, we'll bring out the uh, full autos here in a minute. But we're going to get some rounds to these things. All right. So... Right, that that is a really nice feature that that uh, the bolt catch right in, inside the trigger guard. Very nice. All right, let's give it some whirls here with, with, with that muzzle brake. It just doesn't move. I mean, things just it's just nice and easy. Uh, recoil is very, very mild, even for like this small of a gun partly because of the operating system, but also because of that muzzle brake, right? So these are surefire muzzle brakes on these guns. Uh, just phenomenal, bright shooting. Just doesn't even move. I love this thing. You want one. Hush now. It's just, it's right there. Oh, my ears just kicked off. <laughs> yep. It's so loud that my hearing protection just kicked off. Uh, I couldn't handle it. Yep. That That's was phenomenal. John, why don't you give that thing a, that that. Thing a whirl? Uh, Locked open. Uh, uses standard uh, GI mags. Doesn't like P mags. So, oh, uh, I mean, it likes P mags. It likes that P -mags. does. Oh, this one? Gen the Scar 3. doesn't like P mags. They both, they both have to run Gen 3s. Yeah. Yep. All right. So this one does have the reciprocating charging handle. So you gotta make sure that your hand isn't further back how, what you say, the MP5 hold, how they're like this. That's a no-go, all right? So. I 
still like it though. But it's a, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, that gun doesn't move. Ejection pattern's a lot different between the two, right? The the scar is more of that, you know, four o'clock position, Fourth. right? With that brand just kicking out like that two o'clock. So we've got a pretty good shift of brass just looking at them. Uh, you know, it's not a bad thing at all. Um, it's just the way they are, right? Yep. The, way they, the way they reciprocate. Uh, let's load up some more mags and get this thing going and have some fun with it, all right? We'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is Troy. John. Check us out at shootcenter.com, Instagram. Uh, if you guys want to come in for classes, shoot any of our guns, even some select fire stuff, come in, come in and use the range. We're more than happy to help you guys out. We'll see you next time. Have fun and stay safe.